Hi guys, Craig Beals again, and I'm sure every one of you has seen one of these big old TVs. They're becoming kind of obsolete because they don't have high definition and they start to wear out on the inside and they just don't have the picture clarity that the new ones do. So you can find these cheap. In fact, oftentimes you can find them free. Now, what would I want with a big TV like this? Well, this screen right here has a Fresnel lens inside. What happens is light comes from the back, it shines up on the screen and it makes a big picture. What happens if we do the opposite? Take light from the outside and let it focus in to one beam. We end up with a huge solar death ray. And that's what we have here. So this is the front of that television. You can see it looks like a big magnifying glass. And on a nice sunny day, it focuses that beam of light into one small point and look at how it causes this wood to burst into flames. The crazy thing is, the sun is 93 million miles away. And we're just taking a small slice of it and focusing it into one spot and boom, look at this wood burst into flame. So this is it. This is the Fresnel lens. And it's gotten so hot, it's burning wood because it's focusing that sun's energy down into one spot. And if you remember where we got this from, we got this out of a television projector which was taking a small pinpoint light and spreading it out across all of this and now it's doing the opposite with the sun's rays and we're making fire. I figured let's not stop with wood. Let's just start putting stuff in this beam of light and see what happens. So I put a pop can in there. I noticed it started to smoke right away, but then I was totally unprepared for that. It blew up, it sounded like a gun went off, and that was awesome. I figured, okay, wait a minute. It's time to get serious and get some technology out here. I wanna see this in infrared. I can't see this with my regular eye, so I figured a little infrared, there's the boom now, look at this. This is an infrared in slow motion, watch this. Boom! You see the black stuff? That's the cold pop exploding out of there. Look at the can and the aluminum. It's glowing red hot and then you've got this pop that's cold and oozing out. It looks like tar to me. It's amazing. I said, well, let's stick with the food. Throw a marshmallow under here. Look at this thing. This thing goes nuts. It starts to heat up and looks like it's alive. Isn't that wild? This is just sunlight. No wonder I've called this thing a solar death ray. I thought, hey, hey, we're on the food path here. I'm gonna go to the salvage yard and pick up a piece of steel, so I did, and I'm gonna use it to cook some food. So I seasoned it, covered it with oil, heated it up so that it would be mostly sanitary, and then I put it in the fire pit and trained that sun rays right onto it so it would heat up. Notice it heated up, I checked it with infrared, I throw some onions on to get a good sizzle, and then throw some burger patties on. Now honestly, I had no idea what these were gonna turn out like, or even if they were even gonna turn out. I figured I might be wasting some meat, but then I started to get some real sizzle. Like, the real thing. Throw a little cheese on, just have something here. Hey, talk about a summer barbecue. This is a real deal. A little ketchup, and here we go. Well, I have used the power of the sun to make myself a burger. <laughs> I have no idea if it's cooked all the way through. Let's find out. Oh my God. It's perfect. Yeah. No electricity needed. Just trillions of tons of hydrogen fusion explosions going on is all I need to make a perfect burger. Look, even the wasps and the bees like it. Awesome. Well, hey. Hold up there, young man. I've got one more thing I wanna say. Now, I've got this huge Fresnel solar death ray, and I need some ideas about what to put in there to cook, to burn, and to blow up. So if you have some good ideas, let me know and leave it down there in the comments down at the bottom. And when the sun comes back up, we'll see what we can burn and blow up with this big, huge solar death ray. 
And you know what? Thanks for watching. And if you're wondering about the cowboy hat, well, it's homecoming week at school and today was Western Day and I figured, you know what? I'll just stay in character here while I finish out this video. But I appreciate you watching. If you're interested, hey, we got lots of stuff going on here at Beale Science. You can click the subscribe button. You can click on the other videos. You can come over and see me at BealeScience.com or you know what? You can just click around and find other great things on YouTube. But the whole idea here is keep on learning. Is it? Yeah? How do they cook that? Do you use the sunlight? <laughs> Good. Mmm. That's good. Is it? Yeah. Better with ketchup. <laughs>